Hey guys, Ross here from Self Reliant Island, and I want to show you guys the best way to grow microgreens, and also the best way to just just to start seedlings. Um, first step, I'm taking some dirt here, and I'm gonna put it. I got it on a baking sheet, and I'm gonna put it in the oven. I'm gonna sterilize it because uh, seedlings grow much better in sterile soil. You know, any little bit of bugs still just devour a fresh little seedling and uh, so I'm gonna look through it here and there's one worm there so I might as well give that to the ducks but I'm going to throw this in the oven for probably uh, half an hour to an hour around 300 or so degrees and actually cook it up and get it nice and sterile you know I'm gonna get some worms it's gonna smell like baking worms for a bit but I've got so much dirt around here, it's silly to go buy sterile dirt just because it's it's all done for me. But, you know, then I'm left with more dirt and more dirt. And so it's better to just recycle it. This stuff's been uh, sitting for a bit. It's nice and black and rich. So I'm going to throw it in the oven and uh, then I'll show you guys what I do next. The size of that freaking worm. That thing's like a worm steak. That's too much worm for one duck. Oh man. Try resisting that. Oh really? Oh yeah. She's like, oh fuck that. I'm getting that. It took us, grabbed it so hard it broke it off. Nom 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 nom. Alright, so it's a bit dark in here, but so tray in the oven, 300 degrees, half an hour. We'll check on that. We'll we'll check on it the whole time, but I'm gonna say at least half an hour to make sure everything gets real hot in there and actually clean and sterile and kills all the insects, and then we'll have some perfect dirt to work with. I don't know how well you guys can see the steam there, but uh, here we've got a hot tray of dirt. It's uh, kind of a weird thing, but uh, it smells like it smells a lot like molasses, and it's uh, really earthy. Smells actually pretty good, um, but it's all sterile. I'm sure there's some roasted earthworms in there and all sorts of insects and stuff, but um, but they're dead now. It's steaming away pretty good, so. Here we are in my little seedling room, and I'm going to throw, wait, to, well, i got to wait till this cools off, of course, but I'll spread it out. I think I've got a little dirt sitting somewhere, a little bag of dirt that I'm going to add to this, and then I'm going to throw some radish seeds in there. I'm actually just going to start them all in the dirt here, and I'm going to make some uh, radish microgreens. Probably leave the lights on around uh, 18 to 24 hours. <laughs> 18 to 22 hours, something like that, give them a little break. What I've noticed is that uh, seedlings seem to stretch out the most when they have that short break of darkness. So I'm going to do that, but I, uh, I'm going to grow some radishes and some microgreens and stuff, so we'll see how that goes. So I'll come back after this is all cooled, and uh, I'll show you the next step.
All right, so this dirt spent about 45 minutes in the oven, and now it's been about 45 minutes since I took it out of the oven, and it's cooled right down. So I'm gonna spread a whole pack of radish seeds. See, just a, just a fuckload of radish seeds. I'm gonna spread them all around. Try to spread them out evenly. And these radish seeds are about, these ones were about 89 cents a pack. So super cheap, dirt cheap. And I'm gonna grow them in this tray. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little more dirt over top and keep them moist. And uh, they'll produce some nice little microgreens pretty damn quickly. Um, I'm guessing at my lighting probably about eight to ten days and uh, you know maybe twelve something like that I'll have some nice I'll have a nice thick layer of uh, radish micro radish so I'll keep on posting videos about this do a little uh, update and I'll show you guys the whole process and we'll see if it works so like I said I spread uh, a little bit of dirt over top uh, it was nice and fine dirt. It was another bag of sterile seedling dirt, but uh, I didn't use it, so um, just use it now, spreading it over top here gently, and it's just a perfect little layer of dirt on there. And um, also, I'm just clearly, yeah, I'm just growing it in this old baking sheet here. So because it has no holes in it, you want to not, you want to make sure you don't overwater your dirt. Uh, or, you know, your seedlings and everything. And obviously because, uh, you know, I'm baking, I'm... And obviously, uh... And because I'm growing these in this old baking sheet like this, uh, and has no holes on the bottom or anything, it, uh, you, you gotta watch out how much water you add because it retains all the water that you add so you want to go very sparingly on this but you want to make sure that uh, the dirt is plenty moist for the seedlings to um, germinate but uh, I'm, I'm just going to use something like this that I can drip the water on just carefully You don't want to go overkill. You want to wait and let the dirt absorb the water, then come back and add more if it's necessary. But you don't want to go overkill right at the start. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Um, this holds about a liter, and I used probably two thirds of it, so that's not too much water. That's probably perfect. The rest is pretty boring, so I'll probably do a bit of a time lapse on that, or I'll just give you guys an update when uh, everything's sprouted out of the soil. Uh, that will be a little more interesting, and then we'll uh, we'll follow the progress from there. Thanks for watching.